there are a few ways to download the app that we need for our drone. One of the ways would be to scan the QR code that you might see in your manual. So QR code looks like, and we can just scan it, open it up, and then this link should take us and open our app store. From our app store, it's gonna find DJI Fly. So here we go. If you don't have the QR code, all we have to do is just search for it. So let's just go into our app store again. We're gonna go into search and just type that in, DJI Fly. And here we go, it's our very first option. Just tap on get. This is a free app, so you do not need to pay anything for it. And yes, once you download it on one of your devices, let's say you guys have two iPhones for some reason or an iPad as well, yes, it's gonna sync up. You will be able to download it on the other ones. You will no longer see get, but you will see a cloud icon with an arrow downwards where you guys can just press to download it on your other device. How long will this download take? Well, it really does depend on your internet speed, but for most of you, it's only gonna take one to two minutes, and then we can get started setting up your app right here. Once it has fully downloaded, we can just press open. Once the app opens, you will see a video running. After that video, just press skip, and then just select set all, accept, so for sure put okay, also allow, you guys can allow while using the app, or allow once or don't allow. We're gonna allow while using the app because that makes sense. We're gonna agree to this. And yep, well this is fine. So we're gonna go next. This part, it's really up to you. Join or not now, it's really up to you. At this point in time, I would suggest to join. So I'm gonna go ahead and join. And this is the part where you guys can log in or register. So if you don't have an account yet, go ahead and register. Yes, we can click on the top right hand side, you will see skip. So we can still do that right now. So once you log in or create your account, you will see this. I suggest don't skip it and just press start. So right now we're gonna place our phone on top of this. So again, all we have to do is just extend this out. We're gonna place our phone right on top and extend this out a little bit more. It should snap in like so. So that should look like that. Just hook this up on the side, so you guys hear that, it's nice and aligned. Now this, you might not be able to get it in if you guys have a case over your phone. So it depends on your case as well. However, my case did not fit, so I have to take out my case. So right now what we're gonna do is connect to our aircraft. So all we have to do is just press connect aircraft, bottom right hand side. From here, just swipe and select Mavid Air 2. And these indications are exactly what you have to do, okay? So we already placed these. So what we have to do is just press once then press again until it beeps like so, and that means it's powered on. Then it's just gonna take us to the next step once you do that. And to power on, it's the same thing as powering on our remote control. We press once and then we press and hold. And that's perfect. Right now, it's actually turning on. So you guys hear those noises? That means it's turning on. Everything's going okay. So just checking. Make sure it's on a flat surface as it is right now for me. And at this point in time, everything should be synced up automatically. So we should see stuff coming up on our app, which we will get to right now. So at this point, what's going on in the app is more important. So I'm just gonna click on agree. Then it's gonna ask you to confirm your billing, which would be your Gmail address, Hotmail address, whatever your email is. And from here, we should hear a few noises coming from our drone the and a few lights happening. Updated. Please check it on the map. So at this point, I want to show you what's normal. We should see those lights and on your app itself, it's gonna tell you a bit more stuff. So not everybody will get this message. It depends if you guys have purchased it or didn't purchase it. It is a good deal and it might be worth it for some of you. So go ahead and purchase it if you guys haven't done so or else just press on the X. And then we should see this message. Now we have inserted our SD card and since our SD card is more than eight gigs, which is what comes inside your drone, we're just gonna press on confirm. And yes, for example, you guys press on more it's gonna take you to the website. So here's the website and that's where you guys can purchase anything. However, in this case, we're just gonna press on cancel. 
press on the X again, which is going to confirm this. And the aircraft has been activated. At this point in time, we should see any updates that are available. So to update, yes, all you guys have to do is fire up your app and we should see an update up here. So we're going to go ahead and press update. It's going to download the data. And again, any updates will automatically show up. At this point, what you're hearing is normal. That's exactly what we should hear from our drone when it's updating. Just make sure not to power off your remote control or anything, even your iPhone. Make sure it's fully charged, it's ready to go, so you do not want it to turn off when you're doing any updates. At this point in time, just remember to open these guys up. And once you open them all up, you're ready to go and fly for the first time. And that would be it for this setup video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.